Hi guys, and welcome back to another vlogging video. Hi guys, so here we are. Today, I am working on Rosie. This is the beautiful Rosie. And today I'm really excited because I have been sent some dip powders from EC Cosmetics. These are the two dip powders that they've sent me, a black and like a nudie colour and then these are like the, the what is it that come with it, you've got your base coat, activator and top coat and this is the first time I'm ever gonna have used a dip system so I have nothing to compare it to but I always have a little play so I'm gonna do some Halloween type nails, just some like gothic -y kind of nails I guess since my dad's a black and I've also got this here that I want to show you guys, it is a black nail powder and this will be available on my website and we're going to use that over one of the nails and see what it looks like so let's get into it i've got my my tips on and ready to go and yeah so i have read the instructions so i kind of think i know what i'm supposed to be doing so let's just see how we get on this could go wrong this could go terribly wrong you guys so we've got this dip powder. So first of all, I go in with a base coat. And I'm gonna do, obviously, I'm gonna do it nail at a time. So I think the pinky nail can just be like a full, shall we do a full nude? A full black, no, a full nude. I don't know what to do. This one full nude, this one full black, then this one black with the powder on. Or this one black with a powder on, and then this one like, I want to attempt, you guys know that I love marble, so I want to see if you can get a marble effect by doing this. I don't know if you can. So I want to apply this nice and neatly, so that we get a good application. Because I'm using these nails, I might find that it separates slightly, so I might have to do a couple of coats anyway, but we'll give that a go. So this one's gonna be nude, isn't it? So I'm gonna dip it in. Ooh. And I think I've got it all covered. Tap it off. Uh, let's dust it slightly. Get a quick dust before I go back in. And then, do you see how like, because this is just, this probably won't happen on natural nails. Just because I'm using um, these plastic nails. Sometimes like top coats and things like that will separate a little bit. So if you work faster, it might work better. Now, if you were doing this on, the only thing is, I don't feel like it's close enough to the cuticle, but I'm just not sure if maybe that's because I haven't put the powder up to the cuticle. I need like a little scooper or something, do I? Can... Okay. So I'm going to just try scoop, oh no, flipping it, let's just try get it all the way to the cube. There we go. The whole nail was definitely covered then. Tap it off. Yeah, that'll do, that's a bit, bit better now. And then for that one, I'm just going to go in with the activator. And I guess that's what's going to make it like firm and hard. And strong maybe, I don't know. Okay. 
and then you go in with a top coat. But I'm thinking you would file that so it was totally smooth. It's not totally smooth at the cuticle area. Other than that though, like it's, it's pretty smooth, like it's not bad. But I'm sure I've seen people file them. So do I put the top coat on and then file? Or do I just, would I file and then put the top coat on? I'm not sure. It has gone quite hard. I'm not gonna like touch it too much in case it like isn't ready. There isn't a massive amount of instructions with it. So what did we say for this one? Black, those two, I'm gonna do black, aren't I? <coughs> so, the base coat. I am sorry if I'm like not speaking, it's because I'm trying to concentrate. And dip, 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 dip. Oop! I just want to make sure I get the whole flipping nail covered. I'm in shot, aren't I? Please tell me I'm in shot. Yeah, I am. There we go. So that's, yeah, so I managed to get. The only problem with this is if you were doing longer nails, you might struggle a little bit. with getting the nail in the pot. But people do like scoop it over, so you could do that. I'm just doing it in a like more of a dip way. So I'm gonna go back in with another coat and just I think try and get it a little bit further here. Wow, it's very, very black. Very pigmented. The only thing I'm worried about with this is that, like, that has gone on up the base. And I did, I did dust it over, but it has gone on the base of it. So now I'm gonna go in with the activator and just hope that that's not gonna get covered. But I think it is. This, oh, look at that. So that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. It looks quite good. I hope it's gonna come off her little finger. Oh my God, it better not stain her. I swear to God, I will flip out. Oh my God, is it gonna stain the finger? i cry. This is Rosie, my favorite. Rosie's my favorite. So anyway, I'm going to move on to the next nail before I clean it up because I want to get this done. So this one again is going to be black. So even though this is stained a little bit black, it's not coming off on the nail, so that's all good. Just poured it everywhere. For God's sake. There we go. Yay! Base coat. And dip. I bet this dip is really, really sticky. Like, I think it'll be the same as like the Kiara Sky dip base, which is what I use to stick everything on. It's so good. And then activator. You've got to be really careful with the activator because when you put it on, I don't know if you can see there, it kind of like indents 
there's like indentations on the nail if because I guess it's still soft at that stage until the activator dries and then this one right so I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with a black and then I'm gonna try and I don't really know how I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna do what I think might work Right, and then I just thought like if I, if I just like, I don't really know. Can you guys see? I need really to be using a better brush than this, but I can tell you straight off the bat, if you use a better brush, you'll get a better effect than what I'm going to end up with. But I don't really have one to hand. I hadn't really thought this through, so. Right, let's see if it works. Has it kind of worked? The only other problem is I don't have a clear, so if I do anything that's like, um, <laughs> see, I don't know what it's gonna look like when I put anything over the top now. I can't like cap it, so it's gonna be, a, this is gonna be a textured nail. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Shall I just go in with the flipping activator and see what it does? It has kind of worked, guys. Definitely, I think that would work if you got a brush. So basically, it means you can, if you get a detailing brush, you can actually like, you can do acrylic designs by doing what I've just done. Obviously, you guys will do a better job this figure. You guys will do a better job, but you can do it that way by having your base and then you can paint on with a good pen where you want like your other colour. I think that looks quite cool and creepy and I think it'll be good as like for Halloween because it's like kind of like, what is that? That's kind of gross. Maybe not for anything that wasn't meant to be gross. <laughs> So that's that. I like that nude colour. I really like the black. I'm just going to. Shall I top coat them first? I'm going to top coat them really quickly and I'm going to use. I need to use a note. I'm going to use this no wipe top coat because we are going to go in on at least one finger with chrome. So I'm not going to file these down. I'm just going to leave them as they are. They're not like mega lumpy that's gone a little bit lumpy there which is annoying and it's because it's from let's just see if I can file it's just from when I went in with the um, activator so I would just say until your activator has gone on and dried remember that this is very fragile so I'm going to Actually, I'm going to top coat all of them with a top coat because we might as well use what we've been sent. And then I'll just top coat this one with my no white because I'm going to go in with chrome and I'm pretty sure that it won't work with this. Um. Mm. Right, 
Because I do want to use the stuff that they've sent. And do it all properly. Oh, I don't like this top coat. Oh, it's very stringy. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, what are you doing? To be fair, it has actually been sat in the sun. Um, I'm not going to use this top coat, guys, because it's not. I think I've, I've let it be sat in the sun and I didn't realise and that might be why it's gone a bit weird. I think that it is an air dry top coat. And obviously these ones that I'm using are gel. I am sorry if I sound a little bit ill, but I am a little bit ill. <laughs> Maybe what I would suggest if you wanted to do this kind of look that I've done on this nail is I think like it hasn't gone on as, as opaque, although it is looking better now it's been top coated. I think the reason it hasn't gone as opaque is because I think you have to work quite quickly once you put it on. So maybe just do half of the nail and then do the other, do you know what I mean? Like just do it a bit at a time and then dip it and then go back and do your rest and then dip it. So I'm going to cure this. Basically, I'm going in as quick as I can just because I want to get some acetone around the stain because I don't want it to stain my baby. And I will actually cry if it does. Surely it won't because that means it would stain someone's hands, although it is all over my hands as well. So that's not good, is it? That is what happens when you work with black, guys. So I have got my black chrome powder. So I'm going to be careful that I don't get it on the rest of the nails. <gasps> you guys, I love that. I love that effect. do this on my nails next look at that this brown powder is available at idolgirl.co.uk the link to my website is always down below and you can go head over there and check that out but look at that you guys holy cow i do wonder what it would look like over that obviously we didn't use the right top coat anyway so yeah it wouldn't work anyway i don't know if it would go black or if it would go silvery He's got, I can't really explain it, it's like a charcoal kind of, yeah, I love it. So I'm going to leave that one just the plain black and then that's, that's it. So that's basically the finished set. So I am going to then top coat this nail and that is the finished result. If you wanted, you could always do two coats of the chrome. I probably would do two coats if I was doing like a proper set, but that's the finished result. If you guys can see, I feel like the light is making it difficult to see. Can you see that marble is not very marble? Can you see the marbly kind of different colours kind of nail? I love that chrome. I need to do a black set on myself next. Quite like the set actually. I quite like the design. I like the little nude one. How they're just a little all a little bit different but all go together very nice so i hope you enjoyed this video you guys if you did please give me a thumbs up head over to my website to get this gorgeous black chrome and i will leave the link to easy cosmetics down below as well i think it's an ebay page that they have thank you so much to easy cosmetics for sending me these things i also have done um they have also got a poly gel type thing and i loved using this i have a video on that also which is also a halloween one so make sure that you also check that out if you haven't already and i love you guys so so much thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye